Welcome to TRS Clips. This was created so that you can go on a binge watching experience every time you want to enhance your brain with information. Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Why do characters like Yamraj exist in our history or in our culture? Hmm. Is it a way of depicting what death is and hmm. the nature of death? Or do you think these were real beings? A bit of both. I genuinely believe that they were real beings. But if you think about it, do you notice something interesting? Yam Raj is also called Dharma Raj. That death and Dharma, uh, you know, are are in the same you know, yeah. being who takes us aboard. Gauranga Das on this show said hmm. that life is preparation for, for the exam death. that is death. For a good death. Yes. Hmm. Uh, and that is the purpose of life, to have a good death. Um, and it was believed that uh, one of the interpretations is that in some ways Yamraj was the first mortal because then he went into Pitrulok and then therefore takes us there, right? Um, and you explore death in a way, and I, you know, Socrates had it right. It's one of uh, it's one of the greatest blessings for humanity because uh, imagine if you are living forever with with no death at all but you didn't have the spiritual wisdom of God. Imagine what we would be like 500 years later, how bored we would be with life mm. and what would we be doing, right, with life? Or uh, if we live for a thousand years, and what is thousand years in the great scheme of, of time itself? And is death a way, you know, time for the soul to sleep and reevaluate and recharge? Uh, just like sleep is a time for the body to and the brain to rejuvenate and recharge. Uh, and is that why Yamraj is also Dharmaraj? Right? That because essentially the soul will find moksha when it's in balance on Dharma, right? So death kind of gives you that opportunity uh, mm. to uh, for your soul to evaluate and to step back and to think about okay, what do I need to do in the next life? Right? So that I can find I can find moksha. And uh, Yam Raj, by allowing us to do that, is keeping us close to Dharma, which is why he is the Dharma Raj as well. What what makes you feel like it was an actual being? And if it was an actual being, mm. the next question is going to be about aliens <laughs> <laughs> or being some other places. Okay. So it's like this. Look, uh, do I believe that uh, aliens could exist in the universe? Hell yes. You know, uh, uh, is there any evidence as yet of it? No. But absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Right? Uh, I think it was Carl Sagan who said that uh, if we are the only life forms in this entire universe, it's an awful waste of space. Mm. Right? Because I mean, Earth is not even a rounding off error. It's like, why create such a massive universe for just so much life? So there are, there are two aspects to this. One, is there a form of life uh, that exists in different planets, on different galaxies, on different solar systems that we haven't come in contact with? And could we in the future uh, come in contact with it? Could Elon Musk uh, succeed and make us an interplanetary species and therefore we could interact? That's one, uh, one approach to it. Another approach could be that are we in contact with life forms already? It's just that we don't recognize it. Uh, is the earth a living being? Is the sun a living being? What is life? How do we define life? Right? And our ancestors believed that there is uh, consciousness in everything. right? And consciousness means life. right? That, that was what our ancestors believed. Our definition of life is a little different. The modern uh, biological uh, definition. So we, we would classify uh, plants as life, but we won't classify stones as life. We won't classify the earth as life. We won't classify the stars as life, but our ancestors would classify them also as life. So it could be one of both. That there could be alien life forms. I certainly believe there are alien life forms. Like It's impractical to think we are the only form of life there is. I want to raise the second possibility. Could it be that actually we are in touch with forms of life already? We just don't see them as life, like which what is Mother Earth guess? or the Sun. Are they forms of life? Okay, but we don't we don't see them as life. Mm. Uh, our ancestors certainly believe that they were forms of life as well, which is why we see the divine in everything, 
because our ancestors believe that anything there has consciousness has life from from our epics hmm. uh, ramayan and mahabharat and are also probably extended to the puranas where would you say that okay this story likely had some alien characters these seem like alien alien characters there is a story i read in one of the puranas there was a king of kalinga uh who uh, the story goes that wanted to find a good groom for his daughter so he wanted to meet uh, lord brahmadev so he went to brahmalok and you know there are various levels of existence right brahma yeah. brahmalok vishulok shivlok where the, the concept of time is different mm. right so uh, so one of the theories is when we see satyog treta yog dwapar yog kali yog and you must have heard it's like lakhs of years and many you know uh, many colonial era westerners used to laugh at that how can you have lakhs of years right uh, that obvious uh, but now of course the universe is in mm. lakhs of years but there are various levels of existence so the human concept at human level years is actually 26000 years the entire cycle satyog treta yog dwapar yog kali yog and then the entire cycle back but the same satyog treta yog dwapar yog uh, kali yog at a uh dev uh, lok level is different at a lord brahma level is different at a vishnu a lord vishnu level is different lord shiva level is different but it can be in multiple lakhs of years so the story goes this king went to lord brahma and lord brahma was uh, busy in some other work so he waited uh for some two hours uh or a few hours and then after that he spoke to lord brahma and lord brahma was uh, said that what have you done why did you come here and wait because you may have spent only a few hours out here but in earth uh you know hundreds of years have passed and everyone you know is already dead so uh, and this was written you know in the puranas it's like hundreds of years ago mm. uh and we know in modern theoretical physics if you travel at the speed of light time slows down so uh, i i remember i read this and i thought like is this is this time travel it's very mm. intriguing mm. but there in a puranas this story mm. time dilation time dilation mm. absolutely If you enjoyed this video just know that we've got a bunch of curated playlists on this channel just for you so you don't have to consume every single subject that we cover on TRS but you do have to consume the playlists that you enjoy the most that's what I nudge you towards